And why did I remove it? That's because I'm gonna install the mower deck underneath. Welcome back guys. This is kind of like part two of the last video. And I need to install this mower deck into my tractor. I don't know exactly how I'm, I'm gonna go about doing that yet. I had to look up instructions online. All right guys, so I'm ready to attach the mower to the tractor. So here I have a few pieces. I have a front link. We have a frame link. I don't know why, let me see if I can pull it back a little bit. Uh, there it goes. This frame link, it's gonna go under the tractor. And so is the front link. And once I connect those two parts, I'm to drive the tractor over and connect the rest. Now, I don't have a manual for that, so I downloaded the manual from Kubota online. And, you know, thank God I have a computer here at the garage. So I can read up and take one step at a time. I looked at a few videos online. Messix was one of them, Goodworks Tractor, and a couple of others, and everyone says the same thing. It's not easy to install a drive-over mower on a tractor, any tractor. So, yeah, that's why a lot of people don't, don't buy them. They don't recommend them. It's, it looks like it's a bunch of steps, but hey, I'm up for a challenge, and I just have to take it easy one step at a time. I mean, drink a little cerveza before I begin or a drink of choice because this is gonna take a while. First time's always the hardest after that. Piece of cake. instructions all right guys so the instruction says to install the stay link and they have already been installed for me by the dealer so now I had to install a front link these two sides to the stay links all right, so I got the pins out. to the uh, frame link. All right, according to the instructions, if only one person is to um, install the uh, frame link, then you need to put blocks under it. Kind of like that. Here on the other side and here in the front. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do because I'm doing this by myself. So now I'm supposed to start the engine and set this knob to zero. It's already there at zero. And lower the link arm. So is it at zero? Yeah, it's at zero. So once you lower the link arm, turn off the engine. 
And then now I'm going to the next step. All right, guys, so I'm supposed to attach this frame to this. So I think I need to pull this pin back, lift this up, and let the pin go in there. I think, let's see. That's gonna be difficult with just one person. Oh, because the other end goes down. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out. All right, guys, so I got it in. I got this pin in where it's supposed to. You see this nut? There's uh, below it, there's a space, a little space like that where you're supposed to get this pin in. Now, you need two people. Uh, if you use blocks like I did, they're gonna fall off. As Soon as you move this, the blocks are gonna fall off. But notice that on the other side, I used the jack. Without that jack, I don't think I could do it myself. So just an FYI. These frame links are not gonna be easy to install. All right, so here's the other side. And there you go, it's in. So again, thanks to my jack, my second helper, or my only helper. I see it's in, yep, it's in. Let's go to the next step. There you go guys, I'm missing something. According to this, once I attach the, the frame link to the link arm, I am supposed to attach a snap pin to the L pin. I don't have snap pins which looks like nothing more than a cotter pin anywhere. There are no extra cotter pins anywhere to be seen that came with a tractor. But I did buy a, a few at Tractor Supply a few weeks ago for other reasons. I'm gonna have to use those instead. And then once I'm done with that, what am I gonna do? Joint the front link, join, not joint. Join the front link and the frame link with a joint pin and the coil ring. All right, that I do have. But uh, yeah, let me look for a couple of cotter pins. So here you go, guys. Hairpin cotter pins. I'm assuming these are it, and I hope they fit through. Where is that hole? There we go guys, cotter pins are in. So now, I'm gonna have to go back to tractor supply and get a whole bunch more cotter pins. They really come in handy, and in this case, they are not here with the equipment. They're supposed to be here, but no, they're missing. Okay, now I'm supposed to connect these two together. Now, let me see if I can get in there. I gotta get on the floor. And let me move the camera. I hope you guys can see that. I'm on the floor next to the track. It's very uncomfortable here. So, let me see, I gotta get this out somehow. Uh, let me tell you, I look for videos on how to do this, I couldn't find one. Now I know why people, some most people don't recommend these types of uh, mowers. It's a lot of work, but once you do it once or twice, you'll be okay. All right, let me see, can I get this in there? Ooh. All right, I'm hoping that this is the worst of it. No, maybe not, that would be too easy. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of new steps. All right, so the front link is attached to the frame link. Yeah, I'm making progress. Okay, we are, yeah, we're golden. All right guys, so now I'm supposed to attach the universal joint 
to the tractor and see if I can do it. All right, guys, it's in. Now, in order for this to go in, you see that? You have to pull that back. See, you pull this back and then it catches. Let me go ahead and try and set it up again. Pull that back. There we go. I don't know if you heard that snap. See that? It's in. All right. Yeah, it's not easy, guys. It's a, kind of like a pain in the butt, but it has to be done and I have to learn how to do it. So I should make a tutorial on this. Oh, wait a minute, I am making a tutorial. <laughs> First off, uh, disclaimer, never done anything like this before. This is, a, this is all new to me, okay? So I'm just reading the book. Always read manufacturer's instructions and if they have videos online, follow what the manufacturer says. Not what some guy on the internet says. There's a lot of bad information out there. I should know, I get it every day. Read the manufacturer's instructions. Hopefully you can learn something from me doing it. And once I do it two or three times, I'll be an expert. And then I can tell you, yeah, just follow what I'm doing. But I will show you, okay? I will show you all the steps. It's not because I said so. I will show you. All right, guys, so the tractor, the front link and the frame link, it's all set up. Now what I need to do is drive it over here. But first, I'm gonna take like a 10 minute break, wash my hands, get something to eat, like a snack or something. I already ate dinner, it's about 7.30 p.m. And maybe check on the chickens. Ah, they're there, all of them. I can see it, I can see them from here. No fox, no hawk. No bear <laughs> has taken them yet. All right, guys, so we're ready for our next step. And for this, these last steps, I do have instructions. It's the only thing I could find online and I should be okay. Now, I got my uh, cranberry juice with uh, Mr. Uh, Smirnoff. I haven't invited that friend to my house for a long time. But I'm gonna need a lot of that if in order for me to get that done. Yeah, cranberry juice. It makes me stronger. All right, according to this, I'm supposed to release the two back wheels. That's one. That's two. So this back part should be on the ground, obviously because I'm gonna drive over it. And now I need to release the ramps, these right here. All right, so how do you do that? Do the other side that's what this should look like I'm gonna drive over this up to the other side and there's kind of like a guide here you see this bar it's a guide so my right wheel should go over this right here and this will act as a guide now you see these brackets here these pins these pins here under the tractor should go right into that bracket. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm almost ready to drive it over the mower deck. Well, we have to do a couple of things. First, we must be on four-wheel drive. 
and we we must put it on slow not fast but slow all right so those two are covered now the height of the mowing has to be at zero there it is that's a zero right there I should be facing that arrow that's uh, one and that's zero okay now we also have to make sure that this rear lock is a lock over to the right okay if you put it here that's locked this is unlocked okay okay next you must make sure that this lever lock is it's go it's forward okay so how do you do that you push it or pull it over to the left okay and this little hook here on this thing and this has to be just like that in order for this to work all right now I'm not all I'm doing is reading right from the instruction manual and let's see if it works I think I'm ready now the frame link has to go down all the way down there we go now I'm ready to drive over These uh, pins have to go here and these hooks. So I'm off a little bit, not by much. Ah. So, how to, I guess I can move it by hand. All right guys, so to make this easier, I put the ramps back in and I'm gonna put these ramps back in as well so I can move it around a little bit. Next step is this lock, and I can't lock it into place. Not right now. So I don't know if I have to raise or lower this bolt right here in order for this lever to lock. I can't go any further unless this is locked right there, okay? Right there it's unlocked. I need it locked. All right, guys, so this lock here at the back was super hard to adjust or to set as uh, from unlocked to locked. I even had to hit it with this soft mallet just to get it in. And I had to wiggle this entire mower deck just so it could go into place. So yeah, if you're doing this for the first time, it's gonna be a challenge. All right guys, so now we need to uh, move this lever forward. There we go, and lock it in. It's locked. And guys, I should have mentioned that this lever guide connects the uh, universal joint right in there. Okay, so now I'm ready to start the tractor and lift up the mower. supposed to set the uh, the mower height exactly how do you do that we're about to find out okay I have tall grass so I'm gonna dial it to maybe a three there we go I'm gonna set these wheels to right here okay I don't want to cut it too short okay guys so I just closed the coop door the chicks are happy and now back to the tractor I got to figure out those blades they have to turn I think I have everything else but the blades have to spin
All right, guys, so finally it is done. I have the mower connected to the tractor. It is spinning. It took a while though. So tomorrow morning is the first time that I'm gonna cut the lawn with this mower and tractor. So, you know, <laughs> fingers crossed. Hopefully nothing will go wrong and the thing won't fall apart. And, and it won't, it's a, it's a Kubota, so nothing's gonna happen anyway, so. But I'll let you know on the next video. And with that, uh, you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. We'll see you manana. Bye.